Welcome to our Telling the Time lap book look through. To make this lap book, we've used an A4 document wallet, which we've cut the corners off here so the flaps can open. And then I've also added an extra piece of card on the front to make it slightly wider at the front so I can put some more resources in. On the front, we've got some nice bunting, which we've used with different types of clocks on and some lettering to write in telling the time. So it looks really pretty on the front. And then on the back, we've added a really nice just knowledge organizer to help remind us about telling the time. So this is a really nice twinkle worksheet just to have a summary of what it is we're learning about. And we've got another one on the other side as well. So we could use that either way up. And there's also a really nice poster from Twinkle that we've put on the back here. So we can always just have that out. And then when we want to learn about telling the time, we can just grab our lap book full of resources to help us with our learning. So let's have a look inside. So inside the lap book, to start with, we've got two different bingo sheets here. So we've got some bingo sheets here with the cards that go with them. So we've got an analog telling the time cards and then we've got digital times to see if we can match up the digital and analog times. We've also got some further bingo sheets here with some different labels on. So they've got times on like two o'clock. So another way of looking at the time. So we can do analog and digital and just the words as well. Over here, we've got a big clock, which is really nice because it's hands on so we can move round the hands and put different times on and then change what numbers we're putting down to get the right time. So we've just used some Velcro to stick all of these numbers down so we can play with that. So that's a really nice learning resource. So working out the different times with the hands as well. There's this lovely ice cream activity on Twinkle. So we've put in lots of different times on the ice cream cones and then we've got to match those up with all of the ice creams as well so we can do that activity too so it's really nice this lap book because it's just got lots of different activities to do so we don't have to do them all at once but it keeps them all together this is another matching game so a bit like the bingo game where we've got times and then we've got clocks and we can work out which one is which and match those together then further inside the lap book we've got another really nice big clock so we can talk about all of the different times and what they mean. This is a really nice clock because it's got all of the smaller minutes around the outside as well. So we can talk about um, when five minutes have passed, what quarter past means, how that's 15 minutes, 20 past. So it kind of breaks it down again. So all of these are just different ways of looking at telling the time to help your children. And then we've printed off some other resources from Twinkle here where we've got some petals to put around our clock. So we can practice putting on where 10 to is, and where five two is and filling up the petals of our clock. So it's a really nice image there for you to be able to use with your children, 22. So we can go through what all of the times mean. This is really nice because we've got 40 minutes there, so 22. And that again can help with analog and digital too. So, and then they, once we've finished that activity, can just be clipped nicely in there. Then in this pocket, we've got lots of different um, words to do with telling time so we can remind ourselves what they mean. We might just want to get these out when we're looking at telling the time and all sorts of things. So we've got lots of helpful words there in that pocket. Then we've got another game up here where we can match the clocks to the words again. So it's just lots of different ways of looking at telling the time. And then finally down here, we've got some board games as well. So this is really nice because again, it's just another fun way of telling the time. And I wouldn't actually do all of these at the same time but it just means we can just pick something each time when we want to do a bit of practice of telling time. We've got a nice worksheet here and then another board game as well with different clocks on all for telling the time and helping children practice that. And again, it's another reminder all about time with that twinkle worksheet there. So this is just a beautiful lap book because then it all just nicely folds away. So when we want to do a bit of telling the time lesson, we can get it out again and again to make sure our children can learn the time effectively.